Hey, does this aggravate you the way that it aggravates me? Y'all don't know what I'm talking about? Stay tuned. on YouTube family. Thank you for tuning in to B2 Speaks today. I am your host, Walter. Hope you guys are having a great day out there. Hey, have you subscribed to the channel yet? What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Drop a like on this video. Some comments down in the uh, comment section below because I'm sure you're going to have a lot to say after this video. <laughs> what is something that aggravates you about the trucking industry. I'm sure a lot of different things just popped up in your head. Well, in my head, one of my biggest pet peeves out there is driver appearance. What are you talking about, Walter? Hey, I'm gonna show you. Hold on, y'all, hold on one second. Stay, 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 stay. Stay right there. Yeah, okay, hold on. flip-flops oh, no. we should never step out of the cab of a truck going into customers going into the truck no matter what we should not ever ever step out of a truck wearing flip-flops no each time you get out of the truck you should make sure that you have on a professional type attire you get out with a clean shirt a clean pair of pants or a clean pair of shorts with a steel toe type shoe or a composite type type shoe or a nice solid colored pair of athletic shoes why why do you want to do this you know truck drivers is supposed to be a professional career field we are considered professional drivers i don't know about you but when i step out of the truck I want you to know that I mean business. I want the shippers to know that I mean business. I want the receivers to know that I mean business. Not count on my hand how many times I've walked into a shipper or a receiver and I'm in line behind somebody who looks like crap and they get talked to, looked down upon by the shipper or the receiver, uh, verbally abused and just talked to badly because probably because of the way that they are dressed they look like they just rolled out of a dumpster i step up to the counter with my press shirt my press athletic type shoes or my steel toe boots my work pants on i have my ball cap on i have my shades on the top of my head i have my bluetooth on i look like i mean business and when i step to the counter they treat me differently because they know that they're not going to talk to me like I'm not a professional. You can get that same treatment too, but you have to mean business. We have to look like we mean business. If we want to be respected, if we want to be looked upon uh, as a professional in the industry, not only by the companies that we drive for, but by the motoring public, by shippers, receivers, we have to look like we mean business. You can't get out of the truck with sandals on with your toes out so that you drop something on your freaking toe and break it. You can't jump out of the truck with a shirt that looks like it haven't been washed in 20 years. You can't jump out of the truck with your butt crack showing, with your belly hanging on the ground. You can't do it expect to be treated any other thing other than dirt so guys look like the part step out that truck look like you mean business thank you guys for watching be sure to drop that uh comment down in the section let me know what you think what's your pet peeve in trucking it might be the same one as mine it might be something different but hey let us know we'll chop it up in the comment section hit that like button hit that notification bell subscribe if you haven't thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one thank you